Advanced Revenue Management Reports Designed for Revenue Reconciliation Purposes. Okay, so we've started looking at reporting. In my previous uh, video, I looked at all reports. Now we're going to look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, re sorry, eight reports that are all going to be part of 13.1. Okay, and so if I go to Oops, sorry, that is the wrong one. If I go to this one, you will see if my internet can speed up. Okay, so we're going to look at these reports. So there's one, two, three, four sections. I'm going to look at these ones now. The following reports are designed for revenue reconciliation purposes. All right, and they are um, deferred revenue by customer, deferred revenue by item, revenue by customer, revenue by item, billing and item summary report, deferred revenue roll forward report, deferred revenue waterfall summary report, and waterfall detail report. Now these all sit under reports revenue. Okay. Um, and I have opened them all here and you will see there if you go reports revenue here they are okay and I've sort of pre-opened them just to save a minute now here's the deferred revenue by customer quite clear and simple if I go and I open click on the 80,000 it's going to show me just for that one customer above the cloud all the detail making up this balance so you're going to see cash sales and you're going to see invoices that will all be positive and then you're going to see these journals there there are all these negative journals reallocating that revenue revenue or sorry recognizing that re revenue right here's your deferred revenue by item right so I can do a similar thing here and sorry I've got to refresh this it's been a couple of more than 15 minutes All right so and here you can see for a specific item what the revenue is made up similar thing but it's by item not customer All right then you get a revenue by customer so these were about deferred revenue and this is about the actual revenue right and you can see here it splits it normally it would just be total right this is what it would normally look like but you've got these column splits here where I've gone accounting period for example and then I can see per period the revenue okay um, then you got revenue by item they should match so 70 for December 770352 770352 okay and 631 so they they match and they should match these first two actually should match as well but they're a little bit out so I think what's happened is the item revaluation has not been done so I think that's the reason for that and then you've got billing and revenue summary right so you can see you've got your source dates you've got source document number what kind of a transaction is it is the number the customer amount amount sorry total amount bill total amount planned total amount recognized deferred okay and again you've got these splits here you can change the period right you can customize all of these reports are customized customizable this is just the basic out-of-the-box option you can then customize to your heart's content and here is the deferred revenue waterfall summary all right so it's got um, the re deferred revenue accounts revenue accounts balances unplanned now what unplanned is unplanned deferred revenue build unrecognized and not yet in actual revenue plans this amount is usually equal to the deferred revenue balance minus the total unrecognized amount. The total unrecognized amount is the prior unrecognized 
plus the short-term deferred revenue and the long-term deferred revenue. The maximum unplanned deferred revenue is capped at the total revenue amount for each element. Right, so build, unrecognized, and not yet an actual plan. Okay, that is these ones here, unplanned. Right, and then you will see there's an option there for the detail. So if I open this detail, I'll close that one so you can see. So there it opens the detail. Right, so buy customer currency source, source type item, deferred revenue account, revenue account. And then you can see there's the split by month. Now, this most of the data in here is kind of old, so there's not that much detail that makes sense, but um, I think you would get the idea, yeah. All right, so those are the reports available for this first section, which was around revenue reconciliation.